We got venison, bison, and elk. And I'll tell you right now, I've heck never, yeah! You know, I don't eat that meat. You, wow. This is cooked. Why? See, that's the thing is everyone's reaction to wild game. But people eat steaks from farm animals I've all the time. I've had venison, venison, and a couple of times, not a lot. And I have to tell you, it is delicious. Mm -hmm. But I guess, mm -hmm. and I and but with, well, is it warm? Yeah, he said it's warm. Oh, okay. Rachel, do you not eat? Wild game. No, no, I don't eat wild game. I know I, I don't She's eat so any game, game though. I don't. I just don't eat any, any red meat? meat. Red meat? No. But She's got would game. You, but, though. Like, say wild <laughs> pheasant, or would you eat that? No. You know what? Um, you know what? Game meat to me has a very gamey taste, like duck and. Um, oh, I don't like duck. Uh, you, you know. And I wouldn't want to kill it myself either. I have to tell you. I that. would eat wild chicken. <laughs> <laughs> now. The one thing, so <laughs> wild fish. Mm. I think it's the delicious, huh? You really hey, get look, it. Wild game is, is remarkable. <laughs> and what, what to me is most remarkable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk about some pros, Dr. Rachel. We're going to try oh, to convert oh, you. Plenty of. Well, no, see, I don't eat any not, red meat. Not to red meat, okay. but just to wild game in general. Not all. There's wild boar. Yeah, but but y you know what it is for me, and I stopped eating probably freshman year in college because it, it just seems so loud. You know the whole process of killing an animal, and you know as a matter of fact, I happened to see a, a cow get killed. Oh, that would do it for me. And and after that, I was just kind of over it. So. Right, but a cow. So my point is that for people out there, we live in a time where we've changed how we eat food, and whether you're pro meat or not, I think that. Mm -hmm. Look, people are so uncomfortable with the concept of, look, we've been hunting and gathering since the beginning yeah. of time, yep. and that's the natural way, quite frankly. Sure. And, and, and the sad thing is it's not sustainable, meaning we couldn't all go out and hunt and eat our own meat. There's just, quite frankly, not, a, not enough to go around. But what's interesting is when you look at the profile of game meats, you're looking at leaner meats. Obviously, they're pesticide, antibiotic-free. Lean meats have much higher ratio of omega-3 fatty acids. And it's interesting when you look at some studies, even some in Scandinavia I read a few years ago, where people who eat wild game seem to have some of the same health benefits as those people who eat a lot of the fish we talk about in the Mediterranean diet. Again, because you are what you eat. And wild game eats their natural food. You know, they're not being force-fed the kinds of foods that a lot of animals that are domesticated are forced to eat. So I, I haven't eaten in hours. I'm starving. <laughs> how's the? Uh, how's but the there elk? are some health like concerns when you're out right. there hunting. I mean, you do have to keep in mind that you know when you're hunting your own wild game, they can have E. coli, and there's so you much less likely to have E. coli than than a domestic. Well, but you have to know how to prepare animal. it. You got to yeah, yeah, because at the end of the day. Even though they are wild, we have to keep in mind in our country, the lakes are polluted, the land is polluted. You know, well, exactly what are they eating when they're out there? And so, also, I mean, it's when not... you kill, I, I don't know anything about this because I've never been out there with a. <laughs> I could see but it. I, I could no, see it. No, I, I would be too sad to do that. I just, and if I ever saw what you saw, I can oh. guarantee you I would stop eating meat. So that day is probably Look, coming. Look, I, you know, but you do have to be, I mean, these hunters, they know how to skin the animal, mm -hmm. and you have to do it immediately so that they don't get contamination. So there is some That's skill parasites. involved. But you're right. I mean, in terms of, like, paleo or in terms of your nutritional profile, nothing wrong with this. And by the way, I would venture to believe that a lot of people might not even be able to discern venison or bison for a burger. Well, how like, was the elk? Well, I didn't try that. You didn't try the elk? <laughs> I love elk. I, like yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. But, but here's the thing, and, and I... I I've always felt this way. So we are so disconnected from the food we eat. We go to the store and a steak is in a package and kids don't even know that that ever came from an animal. Right. And if no one has ever been through the process, and I've always told people, my family's from a farm in Nebraska, raised cattle and, and at a very young age, I went through the whole process. My, my dad and grandpa took me through the process of you know, how these animals are then taken to, to slaughter and all, my point is that that wild game in many ways is the most prist it's like if you're going to eat red meat it is the most pristine way to do it true story when you said d disconnected from our meat just quickly my daughter once we were having ribs in the house and she picked up a rib when she was about 13 and said this is delicious how do they get the meat on these things 